There is the clock, the Trumpton clock, telling the time steadily, sensibly, never too quickly, never, never too, too slowly, telling the time for Trumpton. I love this bit. <laughs> Welcome to our Wednesday 20 show. Did you enjoy Trumpton? Oh, I did. That took me right back to my childhood, that did. Did it? We'll have to watch some more when we get home. All the way oh. back there. Do you know, Trumpton, it was all around um, fire brigade, wasn't it? And do you know, it was the only fire brigade in the country that didn't ever put out any fires. They were pretty useless from what I recall. The one we just watched where they couldn't even put a poster up without falling off the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I think they should have been sacked as firemen, to be honest. Or, or saving the mayor's hat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. It, it went all the way back to 1967, Trumpton, and you know, there was only 13 episodes ever. And they're 12 minutes long, so 12 times 13, 156 minutes of Trumpton ever anywhere in the world. And everybody knows about it. Hang on. It came out in 1967. You were 20. What on earth were you doing watching Yeah, no, that sounds TV a bit dodgy. Program. The only excuse I can say is that the news was on at 6, and I think Trumpton yeah. came on at 12 minutes to 6. So oh, it, it yeah. was a... I used to watch it. Well, obviously, I watched the repeats when it came out again in the 70s, but I don't understand how... I still knew, but when you first mentioned Trumpton, and yeah. I went pew pew, Barley McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble and Grub. How on earth? I don't know. Or, and I it's can't even remember what we had for tea last night. <laughs> Come on, let's get on. Oh, okay. So today's adventure is taking us to Compton Bishop. We started off at home, we walked all the way to Cross, which we couldn't do earlier in the year, could we? Nope. Well, not this year, last year. No. Uh, and we've started up, we went past the old disused quarry and now we're going to head along the path all the way along the bottom of the hills to Compton Bishop and then we're going to follow the river Yo, Cheddar Yo, all the way back to Cross that and then back to Axbridge. That sounds good, sounds mm. good. Yeah. On the way here today Louise and I walked up over St Mary Street in Axbridge now this will make you smile. We passed four or five houses with glass milk bottles Oh, that was the day when I didn't know milkmen still did glass milk bottles. It came as a complete surprise to me. Yeah. Isn't that lovely and quaint? I mean, it really looked nice in Axbridge, you know, the old milk bottles. I can remember when I was younger, we used to have the milk delivered, but there was always where the birds pecked a hole. They, they were always, af always after the cream. No, you had to put a board on top. No, we, we didn't no, used to do that. No, 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 we used to have a little board on top, so the milkman would put the bottles and then put the board back on top with a brick yeah. on top as well. Ah, but that's it. common sense. Well, <laughs> and then we used to have a race who would get down to breakfast in the morning and have the cream off the top of the milk. The cream on the top mm. of the milk, I remember that. Remember that? Yeah. Mm. Should we get into our first song? Oh yeah, go on then. This is going back a bit. This is one by Bobby Darren called Dream Lover. One, two, three, four. <laughs> She'll bring her love to 
to me Louise and I are just walking along the low path now towards Compton Bishop and it's been quite acceptable so far. We haven't had any hills, it's been quite level hasn't it? I thought I'd give you a week off from hills but I haven't actually told you how long this walk is. So. How long? Mm. Mm, okay, well <laughs> don't tell me. <laughs> Louise and I are finding that we're quite tired these days. Perhaps it's because of all the walking that we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get tired? I mean, we're finding we're going to bed at night at 10 o'clock. Don't tell anybody that, but we are. <laughs> oh, I look forward to bedtime. Yeah, I know. You, you read. I do read, yeah. But I, but I find in that I'm awake at 4 o'clock, 4 and 5 o'clock, and then I have trouble getting back to sleep. Is that just an age thing? Probably. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah, poor no, old you. Poor old me. <laughs> anyway, should we move on along? Oh, I think we should. Come on. Do you find when you're out walking that you say hello to other people or do other people say hello to you? Well, we do. <laughs> I think we get some funny looks sometimes. And it's amazing actually how you can be in the middle of nowhere and actually bump into, well not literally, bump into people you know, like we just did. Yeah, yeah, I know we just did it. I, I get that dog walkers always say hello to dog walkers. Yeah, I used to find that when I had a dog. All us dog walkers would say hello to each other. Yeah. I find cyclists... A lot of them can be a bit unfriendly and just yeah. nearly run you over and not say hello. I like it when they all say hello. When we were picking up litter last week, a few people did come up to us and say, you're doing a good job there, thank you very much. And it doesn't cost much just to say that, does it? But I find it when you're out and about as well, morning, good afternoon, you know, a little bit of that. We, we find sometimes we, we say hello and they don't even bother to answer. <laughs> I find that ever so hard, I've got to bite my bottom lip. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, I say, OK. I like to think that perhaps they've got headphones in and listening to music and they haven't heard us. Give them a benefit of the doubt. Nah. Especially in today's climate, it's nice just to be friendly, isn't it? You mm. can't see anyone else to talk to. Perhaps we should give them a bit of music. Yeah, I think so. Our next song is Paradise Way. <laughs> Cobb once said to me while standing in a cemetery I'd like to paint the view from this hill Put his easel in the yard and really practiced very hard Asking all the trees to stand still Asking all the trees to stand Asking all the trees to stand still Everything's fine all of the time And the sun always shines on Paradise Way How about you? Do you feel it too? Cause the sky's always blue on Paradise Mr. Circus came to town and sat upon the leafy downs People came from miles and would stay 
All the clowns were making sounds Inviting children all around Afterwards the brass band would play Afterwards the brass band Afterwards the brass band would play Everything's fine All of the time And the sun always shines On Paradise Way How about you? Do you feel it too? Cause the sky's always blue On Paradise Colonel Palmer said to me While standing in the cemetery Wonder where we'll be this time soon Cause all the seas are getting high Snow and ice waving goodbye Should we find somewhere dry like the moon? Should we find somewhere that's dry? Somewhere dry like the moon? Come on! Everything's fine All of the time and the sun always shines on Paradise Way. How about you? Do you feel it too? Cause the sky's always blue on Paradise Way. Everything's fine all of the time. And the sun always shines on Paradise Way. Cause the sky's always blue on Paradise Way. Hey! So that was uh, how, how many years? Oh, since I was 16. 16. I'm not oh. telling you how many years that is. No, no, no. <laughs> you can't work it I was out. just having a word with Louise. We were talking about pen friends and. Um, you know, uh, a few episodes ago when, when we had those gloves, those red gloves that were attached to each other, they were a present from her pen friend in Hanover, Germany. Yeah, we met on the Hanover Bristol Exchange when I was at school and Susie was at school. And we've been friends ever since and we write every Christmas. We don't just write anymore, it's not such pen friends that... No. It was originally, it was all just letters originally, yeah. but nowadays we WhatsApp each other as well. But we do always send a letter at Christmas. We meet up as well, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we meet up every few years. It yeah. have been, we should yeah. have been meeting up this last year that went, but that didn't happen, obviously, for various have, reasons. Yeah, I haven't had a pen friend as such. I remember when I was 15 and I went away with some boys uh, to Bowley's Cove, Weymouth. Hmm. And in the caravan next to us was a girl I fell in love with. Her name was Ida. Do you know, I even remember her last name. Ida Blundell. And she came from Ashton Underline. And we sent one or two letters, but then I thought she was getting serious and I thought she wanted to get married. <laughs> so I cut that dead. Sorry, if I had a friend, is it? One or two letters. Lightweight. Louise and I woke up the other morning and we always listen to BBC Radio Somerset, don't we, love? We do indeed. And there was an interesting conversation going on with some musicians from Wedmore. Mm, just down the road from us. Yeah. They were folkies and they were called Riley's Cove. They were releasing their EP and so BBC Somerset got behind them, played a track and I thought, I do like that. Yeah. Mm. So we got in touch with them, didn't we? And they very kindly let us have a song. Take a look at this. Hi Barry, hi Louise, and uh, hi Wednesday 20 Show. Uh, it's great to be part of the show this week. Uh, I'm Scotty and uh, I'm part of a songwriting duo, Riley's Cove, with my partner in crime, Shell. Um, Shell does the vocals and I do the guitar. Uh, and we released our debut EP, a five track EP, on Wednesday the 28th of Jan, which is we're really excited about. It's gone down a storm, which is fantastic, uh, and it's being streamed already in all faraway places, China, Hong Kong, Turkey. Uh, we've had people in Italy commenting on how great it is, and we've and been on quite a few radio shows. So really, really pleased to be launching it. Uh, we really hope you enjoy it too, and what we're about to show you 
is the um, the video behind the scenes in the recording studio. So this is the music uh, of the track called Without and it just shows you what we got up to in the recording studio when we were making it. So we really hope you enjoy it. Um, it can all be streamed as always uh, on all the usual streaming channels on Spotify and uh, Apple Music, iTunes etc. So please uh, do go on and listen to all the tracks, all five tracks. Uh, it's Riley's Cove and it's high and we're really pleased to be on your show. Thanks Barry, thanks Louise, see you soon. Cheers, bye. I'm thinking of the good times When nothing ever seemed to hurt so bad Dreaming of the picture Picture of the world we used to have Scotty, who are Riley's Cove, thank you so much for being part of our show this week. And we hope you find some gigs in the summer of 2021. Outside gigs, I suppose, isn't it? But uh, we wish you well and thank you for coming on our show. Yeah, maybe our paths will cross as you're local to us. 
Perhaps we could have a drink. Oh, talking of drinks and gigs and pub gardens and stuff, it's making me feel like a cider, Thatcher's cider. Louise and I have come across some fields here full of apple trees. You could see them be here behind me. Each row has got 50 trees in it and there's 60 rows. And so 60 rows times 50 is 3,000. 3,000 apple trees and there's two fields. So that's 6,000 apple trees. And I wondered how many apples yield on one apple tree. And your time starts now. <laughs> I'd say 100. I haven't a clue. They're not very big trees. I wouldn't have thought it would be that many. You never know. They yield oh, more if they're yeah. clipped, well, don't they? Well, maybe. Well, let's just say 100. 100 times 6,000. Now, is that 60,000 or 600,000? <laughs> Answers on a postcard. But it's a lot of apples. A lot of apples and a lot of cider. It is. Yeah. Mm. I wonder if it's different sorts of apples. Like some trees are for... Thatcher's Katie and some trees are for Thatcher's gold. Mm, now we're getting to, deep now. You'd have to take that up with Thatcher's. <laughs> mm, while we go and uh, experiment, we need to go and find some Thatcher's cider. But in the meantime, why don't you have a look around and where we're going today? <laughs> Game with poo sticks. Poo sticks, so you drop your stick, the first one to the other side of the bridge wins yeah. the bet. I bet you a pound. A pound? A pound wins on this stick. Okay. okay. Ready? On the mark, get set, go. Oh, you drop first. Yay! Oh, let me do that! <laughs> Woohoo! Champion poo sticker! 
Oh, oh I don't like this bridge. For a while. Oh, yeah. Takes me back to childhood, that. Yeah. And we never bet money on it as a child, obviously. I would have bet you a pound. Yeah. <laughs> on about money, I can remember decimalisation on the 15th of February, 1971. 50 years ago. I can still remember a farthing, a hate me, a penny, a threat me piece, threatens, we used to call it, sixpence, or a tanner, wasn't it a tanner, or a shilling, which was a bob as well, a bob, lend us a bob, then there was a florin, then there was half a crown, two and sixpence. That just sounds so complicated. How many things did you just name them? Amazing. So a bob and a shilling are the same thing? Yeah, bob and a shilling. Well, why have you got two names for one thing that's really confusing i know what made it more confusing back in 1971 was yeah. a bob or a shilling had 12 pennies to it and then when you <laughs> come in in 1971 decimalization is five pence well quite right too well there you are see it's another world <laughs> They all I'm, remember. There's a lot out there that oh, remember. Oh, see Pound that. Shillings and pence. Pass me by. I don't feel I've missed out, to be honest. That sounds like maths at school would have been much more complicated. <laughs> well, you used to have to carry the 10 and... Oh, yeah. Anyway, we are over halfway round our walk now. We've gone through Compton Bishop. We've crossed over the road. And now we're going to follow the Cheddar Yo all the way back to Cross and then Axbridge. I'm going to ask Louise now if she would take a bit of film of the view that we've got you oh. can't see that mm. because that's a beautiful sight isn't it it's lovely it's very bonanza <laughs> <laughs> you want bonanza <coughs> last week you said bonanza was on yeah, a nice yeah, valley yeah, yeah. and now you're looking at a mountain top no. no it looks rugged though should we get into our last piece of music left i think that's a good plan a bit of cliff richard oh you can't beat a bit of cliff uh-huh <laughs> Oh no, selfish. Selfish. sorry. <laughs> Get it right. Oh, this is Fall in Love with You. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, so now we're back in cross. <laughs> and look at my boots. They're covered in it. They weigh a ton. Honestly, I must be burning off so many more calories. Mm. I'm not dunking them, in the, dunk them in the river. <laughs> Maybe not a good idea. 
just as we're speaking it's beginning to rain so that was good timing well it was so if you fancy although we came from axbridge if you fancy doing your little walk it was about three miles from cross to compton bishop across the river and back again wasn't it yeah yeah and that would take you well it would take you as fast as, as you want to go you wanna walk, yeah. yeah yeah but it, it as to regards an interesting walk it wasn't really an interesting walk to walk oh, no, but, I think but, but let me finish <laughs> but it had but it had nice views you were looking at nice views i thought it was a lovely walk isn't that funny those how two views people... to me i could just walk that walk loads of times beautiful it wasn't too strenuous just lots of views in all directions it's flat loved it and i love walking along beside this river on the way back it's peaceful watching it in fact i'm just keep drawn to it now and i'm just like watching it flow by it's lovely yeah it's sweet isn't mm, it yeah so louise and i hope that you continue in to stay sane and <laughs> so. safe and you can see that things are beginning to open up soon as to regards the weather, the weather's going to get better soon, and that's a different kettle of fish again, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Having coffee nice. outside in the mm, garden. Yeah. So, from Louise. <laughs> goodbye. And from me, it's a goodbye. <laughs> and we'll see you next week. Of shot. Hello. Quarry, old disused quarry at Cross. But today we are going to walk to. Oh. Well, we're making our way along to Bishop Compton. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Compton, Compton Bishop. Bishop. They mu it must have been badger layers or something. But they are very deep. Go on, love. You could say something. <laughs> Can I? Thanks. Louise will... What? <laughs> yeah? Louise... Most people get makeup. I get slapped around the cheeks to make me look so I'm not dying. Ah, oh, it's a pick of my nose. It's going to rain. Yes, it is. Let's see if we can get it's it done then. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. You know it's going to rain. Yeah. All right? Okay. Yeah? Louis. Louis. I say, can't say my name. What's going on? I'm moving to get down here. Oh, I don't like heights. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> like a mountain goat, lad. <laughs> Only kidding. Jump! I can't jump! <laughs> Round of applause everybody! Yes! But it's been 50 years since decimate... decim... It's easy for you to say. Yeah. But it's been 50 years since decim... <laughs> decimali... decimali... Decimalization. So it's been 50 years since decimus. Decimalization. Decimal. 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 Bloody decimal! Anyway. All right, here we go. Commend you wear proper walking boots, though. It's a bit muddy, isn't it? It is a bit muddy. Look at the state of Louise. Hold, hold your shoes up. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. It's time for Trumpton. Oh, excellent. Can we watch the episode about the posters again? I thought that was brilliant. Oh, I love that one too. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can have some sweeties at the same time. Sweeties sounds very good. Mm. Some on, licorice all sorts. <gasps> Ooh. That sounds now we're talking. McGrew, Tuppet, 